Well, that's us, milk de thawed. I was just noticing the trousers. I've seen better days. So, always something. So, last night we had a cow here behind me is calved. Calved herself alright. But the little calf has not managed to get to his feet yet. So we're just about to try and we'll set up a crush here, get the cow in, try and get her milk out and get some milk in it. Whoa! Whoa! I don't think he was just looking behind him there, he was going to be into that barrel. Uh, this crush is getting old and past her best. Oh, we spring missing here, which would help the thing bravely. This is where I'm not very hopeful that she's actually going to walk in by herself, but hopefully she'll come in with me. I would think it's just to go into that again, she'll not go on as handy. It would help if we had a proper wheel in this. Problem with that little thing there. If she kicks her that gives and that spins around, cut the hand off yourself. Which has happened before. So it started off that this morning was just a bit of a pain in the backside. Having to do this to get the calf stuck and all the rest. Transpired is a lot worse. She only has one tit and there's very little to nothing in it. Bit annoying too, it's always a decent wee cow. And she's young, but she's no use anymore, so we're going to have to try and get colostrum gathered up for this calf. The crush is repositioned, I'm wanting to put the cow back into here. Can't get the gate shut. So, yeah, keeping her away from the calves, so we'll just have to do a wee manoeuvre here to, to get her sorted. Probably not, but you go around the other side. Merlot's a handy machine to have for the likes of that. Right. So, ah, uh, camera's not even facing the right way. I don't know if he's gonna actually see me on the camera or not because the camera's got twisted or the cow's hit it or something. But you'll notice we're putting the, the tube down the throat first before putting the milk into the bag simply because the clip's missing. Meant to be a wee clip on here. 
So a new investment of a new tubing bag is needed. And we'll get off and notice that a bit sooner, but. So his front seems fine, but he's not right in the back end. He can wait bear, he's just on steady, but he can't get up himself. So he's not wanting to put much weight in that leg at all there. He's, he's putting virtually no weight on it. Just try and get him up. Okay, any time I'm out, try and get him up on his feet, just so he doesn't get stuff from lying. And I'll go and get some milk for him now. So finally got a new shipping bag since the other one was broke. Cowed calf one time, and I was late for, well, I worked in another place at that time. I was late for work and I thought, I can just chub it, milk the cow and chub it and make sure and get the colostrum in it. Thinking I was doing a good turn, the calf probably would have got up and sucked itself anyway. The tube that actually broke no. off in the calf's stomach. And I thought that was going to be a handling. And I took it over to the vet then, and they'd put an old periscope thing down the throat, a wee claw thing to try and grab it. Because there was already half the milk was in, they couldn't see, and it was just a disaster. Vet that she took pity on the calf and said they'd do basically done a cesarean on the calf. So there's the cut the side of the calf open, and there was three of us to put stitches through the outer layer and the hide. And they, uh, there's three of us held it up so that because the, the milk was in the stomach, if she done went in to do the operation, the milk got in round the rest of the organs, you know, the infection would have struck in. So there's three of us holding these bits of thread while the vet was working away, keeping the stomach in place. I managed to get the, the tube out. And she stitched the calf up and I thought in my head, I said, there's no way the calf would ever survive. A day old calf getting an operation like that. And the vet said, just, if the calf lived, she'd charge me. And if it was, if it died, she wouldn't. And the wee calf came home and never looked back. He turned into, a brave bull actually, but I had been sure a calf that young and the handling we went through getting that bit of tube out of its stomach. You never know these things, like you can never give up on them, like you have to try your best to see what happens and time will tell. <laughs>